Hello everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, welcome to episode two of my journey. Uh, I got a great response on the first video, the intro video that I put up a few days ago. Uh, really, I didn't expect uh, quite as many positive comments and views and subscribers, uh, but that was very nice. So thank you to everyone that, uh, that contributed. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's the holiday season. Uh, I don't work this week, so I thought uh, I'd get on with uh, coming up with the rest of the story. Again, the story that I'm retelling is, uh, it's a journey. Uh, I mean, it was more than weight loss, although I lost a lot of weight. Uh, I used a diet, dietary changes, um, some intermittent fasting, and um, and along the way I started into a little exercise and some endurance running and ended up within 16 months I lost uh, over half my body weight which uh, is quite amazing never expected to when I started but uh, here I am so I'm gonna begin by uh, right now and uh, first thing I want to do is uh, I thought it'd be best I'm gonna put up my uh, weight loss chart and uh, describe that for you So this chart you're looking at is my total, this is the total story from when I started uh, late August in 2016 uh, until uh, yesterday. Um, this is a plot of my daily weight and it, there's a lot of story to tell and, uh, and I'm going to use this as a, as a template in order to tell the story. But this is the overview of the, the entire journey. This next slide, I've taken that same uh, data from weight loss and I've divided it up into five phases, one through five. And the phases are, the meaning of the phases, they rec represent significant uh, changes in uh, uh, what I was doing with diet, uh, mainly uh, also fasting and running. So. I broke them up this way because, again, this is how to tell the story. Uh, phase one and two, that's what I'm going to talk about today, uh, were the, let's say, the adaptation period. They were the adjustment period. And this is, I mentioned in my intro, I was just kind of stumbling trying to find a plan. Well, I didn't really have a plan when I started, but somewhere during phase two, I came up with a plan and I started executing that plan in phase three and, and, and on into phase four. And as you can see, phase three and phase four were just awesome for me. That's where I just was losing weight constantly, week after week, uh, for, let's see, 49 weeks there. Um, so I'll talk about those in an in a upcoming video, but for right now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what was going on in phase one and phase two. So here's a description of phase one. I just, I started and the only thought I had is uh, I'm going to restrict my calories. I'm going to find out what is the minimum amount of food intake that I can get by with. You know, so I was just shrinking the portions of food that I was eating. I didn't really change the diet in any great respect that I can recall. I just tried to you know, just have like one half size or maybe a quarter size or just just really reduce the the portion. So that was strictly a calorie restriction. And that was about three weeks that I was doing that. And uh, then at, uh, after about three weeks, I remembered about the, the Atkins diet. I had read, the, you know, the Atkins book uh, many years before. And I remembered, well, in addition to to uh, limiting the portion size, I should be tossing those carbohydrates. If, you know, that's what I remembered from Atkins. So, um, after the three weeks, I started also eliminating carbs. I started cutting down on all the sweet stuff I used to eat, uh, sugar and, and chips and bread and all that stuff. So I was then at a point where I was really on a strict calorie-restricted diet and 
a restriction of carbohydrates. So this whole period uh, lasted about six weeks. And I lost weight. I lost, as you see in the summary, I lost 14 pounds. But it started to get <laughs> tough. I mean, uh, I knew it wasn't going to last. It wasn't satisfying at all. I never was filled. And, okay, I know it. At this point in time, I know absolutely the reason for all that. But at the time, I just said, this is not a lifestyle. I can't sustain it. So I got to do something different. And so that's why I got the, the, the frowny face on there, because phase one, I had to move on from phase one. So I went to phase two. And phase two was basically one Saturday morning, I woke up. And I said, well, what do I do next? And I said, you know, I've, I've restricted my calories a lot. Why don't I restrict it all the way? Just not eat anything. And so I said, well, I'll try today. I'm not going to eat any food. I wasn't sure that I could get by, or get through a day with no food. I had uh, done a fast like 25 years prior, a juice fast, and that didn't work so well, but I was going to do it without the juice, so I just did water and coffee. And that's all I had that Saturday. And it, it was tough. Uh, it, it was tough. You know, there was the, you know, different times during the day. I got, uh, you know, my body's telling me, hey, it's time to eat. And, um, you know, but I got through it. And uh, my thinking was, I'll get through this Saturday, and then Sunday I'll go out and have a nice breakfast and, you know, continue on and, and find another plan. But uh, what happened is I woke up Sunday morning and uh, I said, okay, well, I'm ready to eat, right? And then, surprise, I, well, I wasn't hungry. So, uh, you know, I said, oh, that's, that's odd. I feel actually pretty good. Uh, here's an idea. Let's try to do it one more day. So I, <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> said, all right. I'm going to fast two days, and then uh, when I go to work on Monday morning, I'll start back into my routine, and obviously I can't fast while I'm working, so I'll start eating and, and, and take it from there and figure out something. After two days of fast, I'll probably lose some weight. So I got through Sunday, and lo and behold, same thing happened Monday morning. I felt fine. I didn't have hunger. And so this went on for a few more days, and I just kept fasting. In fact, it got easier. And day three and day four and day five, they, they went through fine. I mean, I had good energy. I had good work. I had good days at work. I had got a lot done. I had a clear mind. And uh, I said, wow, you know, I guess I don't need to eat after all. Uh, I was weighing every day. The weight was dropping. I mean, everything was great. Uh, so... About this time, I started to really just read everything I could on fasting. I was searching on forums, and, and I was looking for books to read. I wanted to know, like, how long can I go on with this fast? Uh, what's recommended? Uh, like this, I, I was suddenly very interested in fasting. Uh, and at that time, I decided I was going to carry on and do it for a week and uh, because I was pretty confident at this point. You know, I didn't see any problem. So uh, I stumbled upon a book. Uh, I was reading like on Amazon book reviews, and a number of people were talking about a book by a guy named Dr. Jason Fung called The Obesity Code. And I downloaded that book, and I read that book, and it was just like many different epiphanies I had while I was reading that book because it just it made sense to me. It explained things to me, and while I was reading that book, <clears throat> I came up with my plan. Uh, it, it was, I mean, I'm not going to go into detail on the book, but it was while I was reading that book, it, I first got the idea that uh, how important uh, when you eat is, not only what you eat, but when you eat, and especially if you want to lose weight. And it was reading that book, I first got the idea that, hey, you could just eat once a day and then uh, maximize the amount of time in a, in a fasted state versus a fed state. And I said, this is something I can do. 
I'm pretty sure I can control one meal a day. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat once a day and I'm going to eat, I'm going to get rid of all the junk. I'm going to get rid of sugar, uh, carbohydrates. For the most part, I'm just going to eat food that comes directly from a plant or an animal. That was my plan. Uh, one meal per day. Um, wasn't going to go overboard with it. I was just going to eat enough to be filled, but all fresh natural foods that come from a plant or animal. So that's what I did. And uh, that, that was my plan. I mean, I didn't start it at that point because after a week, I said, you know, weight is coming off at a pound and a half or two pounds a day. Uh, I don't want to stop. I'm going to go, I'm going to think, I'm thinking much bolder now. I'm going to do two weeks. And so I pressed on into the second week. Uh, and the second week got tougher at a certain point. The last, uh, I'm going to say like three or four days, it seemed like it was just like, I didn't, hunger didn't come back, but uh, just a, uh, a feeling of not having anything fun or anything good to look forward to. Food is such a is such a, a pleasurable thing. It's such a pleasurable activity. It it affects all of your senses, and it. I got tired of having nothing to, good to look forward to. And anyway, I I ground out the second week. I finished it up. Uh, I got the two weeks in. So to summarize the, the two-week fast, um, you can see on the screen, uh, it was a total of 14 days. And then uh, seven days recovery, meaning uh, that's in terms of weight loss. You know, I, you lose weight and then as soon as, you, as soon as you start refeeding, there's a little plateau, you stop losing, and then, and then you, you gain some weight back. Uh, and it took seven days for me to reach, uh, for the weight to bounce back and then, you know, start to drop again. So that the summary was I, I lost 24 pounds fasting, then gained back three. So it was a net loss of 21 pounds, uh, during that fast, during that two week fast. So, you know, that, that was a success because I, I got through it and, uh, it was a su success because now I had a plan. Uh, the thing that I think is unique is that, you know, thinking back on it, this phase one and phase two, it was like, it was like an ad adaptation period. I, I call it like a total reset of my system. You know, I, I first started the, the, the caloric restriction and then I went to carbohydrate restriction and then I went a two week fast. And I tell people this, after that fast, I've never been the same. I've never, I, I, it completely obliterated any cravings I have for, for sugar or, or, or any food. I, I can resist food now. I can eat whatever I want, but uh, it just, uh, it just had the effect of just resetting my system. And I believe it, it, prepared me for success in phases three and four. I think if I would have just jumped right into phase three and said, I'm going to eat once a day and I'm going to cut out these carbs and eat these kind of foods, I might have, I might have got through it eventually if I would stuck with it, but it would have been a tougher transition. So the whole point I wanted to make is that uh, phase one and two were a good preparation to have success uh, the rest of the way. So that's uh, sort of the summary of this video. Uh, I completed phases one and two. I lost uh, 35 pounds, which was great. And I had a plan. And I, I was really excited to execute this plan or go into it because, uh, you know, I started to feel pretty good about the direction I was heading. So uh, I'll pick up next time on uh, on phase three in phase four and, and uh tell you, you know, some details about what was going on uh, during that period of time. Okay, uh, that's it for now. See you next time.